Hello and welcome to the 10th video um, in this uh, file system PHP video tutorial series. My name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Now in the previous um, video we went uh, and talked about fopen using the um, append mode with the mode of A um, talking about then inserting data to the end of the file. So essentially um, mode A opens the file, places the pointer at the end of the file and then writes data if you call F write and then when you call F close it will then close the file. Now essentially what we want to do is we want to be able to open the file, set the file pointer to the beginning of the file and if the file doesn't exist we want it to create it and if it does exist it will open the file set the file pointer back to the beginning but we don't want any data destroyed in that file now even though the fact is the file pointer at the beginning there might be text in that file we want to know that we can manually move that file pointer forwards and backwards how we like and then write data to it and once we've finished we call F close and if we want to write data we use F writes and so on so we want full control over this one file handle itself rather than um, PHP functions then telling you well I can only put it at the end of the file or the beginning of the file and then you lose all data which means you would then have to kind of extract the data from the file and then change the data in that variable and then rewrite the data to the file which is not what we want we want to have more more control over this now there is a way of doing this thankfully enough and it's using the C mode. Now if I show you the C mode in fopen you'll see open the file for writing only which is what we want if the file does not exist it's created fine if it, uh, if it exists it's neither truncated which is what we want nor the call to this function fails which is what we want as well um, the file point is positioned at the beginning yep um, and the rest is to talking about locks which we're not going to talk about so that's what um, we're doing. We're doing essentially what W does, but it's not going to truncate the file, which is what we want. So the file that we're going to write to is fopen.txt. Now, um, what we are going to do within the file, just come here, is you can see at the moment the file has zero bytes in it, therefore it's an empty file. We're go just going to um, then open this one file up and on the first line I'm going to do nothing more than stick nine characters in the file okay and we're just going to close it and what you'll see here is on Linux when I write to the file is writing 10 bytes to the file although I only wrote nine characters which was obviously one through to nine therefore there's this extra hidden um, byte on the end which I'm not going to talk about so we need to remember that this extra hidden byte at the end therefore we need to take into account how many bytes in the file if we want to write um, to that one position so um, as previously we're just to make use of using all of the functions um, we're going to say if file exists because I only want to write to this file if it does exist we then want to have a file pointer so we're going to say fp equals fopen first argument of fopen is then the um, the actual path to the file second argument in this scenario we're going to say lowercase c now like I said this is going to open the file place the pointer back to the beginning it's not going to truncate the file <coughs> excuse me and next thing we want to check that our file pointer is all okay so we're just going to say if fp um, because of good practice we're going to close the file pointer straight away so we know it does get closed and then we're going to continue on with our work so um, what we want to do is if we output what's in the file at the moment and as you can see here we've got 1 through to 9 we want to change this 5 to a Z just because alright so we need to know that we because the pointer is going to move if I come over to here to show it a little bit easier so the file at the moment has um, nine characters numbers in it and it then has this magic um, character which I'm not going to go over but for the, the sake of instructional purposes we're going to um, visually show it as a star alright because there's ten bytes in the file therefore one byte two byte three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bytes in that one file. Okay, so well, let's get that star now. Now, what we want to do is we want to overwrite five with uh, another letter. So we need to move forward one byte, two bytes, three bytes, four bytes. That will then place the cursor as it's flashing programmatically at that position. So when we write one character, it's essentially going to do this. Right, and I just press the um, the insert key on my keyboard. It's essentially going to overwrite that one character. Then we're going to close the file. Okay. So the file should look like should look like this once we've finished. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, let's just get rid of the writing first. So we're going to say um, f write first argument is then the file pointer. And then the second argument is what we're going to write. So we're going to write the letter Z. Now at the moment, <coughs> if we executed this, this would then overwrite 1 because the file pointer has been put back to the beginning. So where the cursor is flashing at the moment, it would be placed there. It's going to write 1 byte because Z is a 1 byte. It's going to write 1 byte and it's going to write it over the top of that 1. But we don't want that. We want to overwrite 5. Okay, therefore, we need to move it forward four bytes. Now, the question is, how do we move the cursor, spelling it correctly, cursor forward four bytes? Okay, and a question mark. Well, easy. We say F seek. Okay, so this is going to push the pointer forward an offset of four bytes. The first argument to this is the file pointer that we want to uh, the file handle where we want to move then the file pointer itself and we're going to say move forward an offset of four bytes okay so um, let's just come down here and say echo um, updated at and then just say dates this is just to show you that the, the page has changed every time Okay, let's come to the browser and come to our fopen.txt just to show it's still the same. Let's run our script, updated at that time, and I'll come back to fopen.txt. And as you can see now, the 5 has been replaced with a Z, okay, which is great. So it means that um, essentially if there are numbers in there that you want to change in a file, now at, at this point just having... 1 to 9 in a file is completely redundant but there might come a time where you know exactly where that one character is and you only want to change that one character without opening the file reading the file and then doing stuff you just know that at byte number 5 I want to change that to this okay now um, what about if you don't want to start from the beginning of the file but you want to go from the end of the file okay and you want to then move back X amount of bytes and then start writing again. Well, that works exactly the same. Now, but in this scenario, we, we know that we've got this, this hidden byte at the end. Therefore, at the moment, when we open it up, um, it's going to go to then um, the beginning of the file already. But what we want to say is go to the end of the file and move back to, to there, all right? Because we only write forwards, we don't write backwards. So we have to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bytes to write over that 5. Now because we've written over the, the 5 already, let's write over the 4 instead. So we need to go back 1 byte, 2 bytes, 3 bytes, 4 bytes, 5 bytes, 6 bytes, 7 bytes in total. How is this done? Well, we first of all have to um, give it another parameter and say seek end. Alright, now um, we need to tell this one argument right, to go back minus 7, which was, if, right, I forgot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right, because we want to overwrite the 4. So we tell it to go back 7 bytes in total. Okay, then it's going to write, let's say, a T instead. Okay, so let's now come to our um, browser, refresh the code, come back to here. And let's refresh it. And now you can see the T got overwritten. So you can see now that you can start from the beginning of the file or you can start from the end of the file. It's all about the offset. Now, at the moment, 
um, we know that when we did this the file pointer has now changed this to a T okay and we know that there's this hidden byte somewhere that you can't see and it went back one two three four five six seven but then it wrote a byte so now once this script has finished it essentially um, it, the pointer is there just before the Z so if we then um, write again we know that um, if we wrote a B there yeah that would change that Z to a B and just for the sake of of showing you here I'm going to get to the reason in a minute we'll refresh it come to our fopen.txt and now you can see there's a TB now whilst the file is open what about if we've written that and we now want to change the 7 okay but we don't want to we don't quite know what's there and we don't quite know what's there but we know that the next character that we want to change is two moving two bytes forward to there well that's really simple once again we just say we come to here and this time we don't want to do seek from the end we want to seek from the current position so we say seek current position all right and that's going to go from wherever we are and this time we're going to move forward two bytes all right and we're going to change two bytes forward so we've come to the t we've written that there which we've done which we're still going to do in this code and for this example we're going to change it to um, a p okay so we're going to come to here that's where the point is going to come where it's flashing it's then going to change this to a p that's where the file point is going to sit and then we're telling it here move this one cursor the, where the current cursor is forward two bytes okay so that's where we're sat we're going to go one two and then we're going to write a so we're going to be rewriting over seven and should say a so, so it should say p z six a eight nine okay let's come back to our code here refresh it and then go back to fopen.txt okay pb6a which is what I said um, pb where did we change okay we changed it um, in the previous one because the f seek wasn't there um, so at the moment we've got pb6a so let's now go back to show that we can do this again so let's change the b and the a and we'll swap them over shall we so seek from the end we're going to go one two three four five six and we're going to change this minus six to then an A and then we're going to say from here so this is where we are now okay so we're changing the B so we're going back once again just to show you one two three four five six and we're changing the B it's going to move the cursor forward one now for us to change the A we need to go forward one alright so we're going to go forward one byte and we're going to change this to B because we're changing it round all right so we're changing the B to an A and an A to a B let's come back here refresh the page come back to here and now you can see we've changed the um, the elements around so therefore I've shown you how to seek from the beginning okay or how to start the um, the file point at the beginning and then move the cursor forward I've showed you how to move the cursor to the end and then move backwards using minus figures and then once you have written I've then taught you how to move forward again from the current position where the cursor is at so it gives you full functionality of moving the cursor backwards and forwards just like what I'm doing here moving the cursor backwards and forwards that's all I'm doing Ra rather than using the arrow buttons I'm doing it programmatically to show you to move the cursor forward and backwards okay now if we do this once again and we change this back to A to B instead and then we output here so let's do at the beginning let's show you another function and we say ftel okay this will tell you the um, the position of the cursor all right let's do that and let's just put the beginning um, position equals then this tells you the position with F seat we'll do position again we'll then written to B and then we're going to F seek again and then we've written to written a all right 
So now let's um, refresh this again. Now you should get a clearer understanding of what's happening. So we'll refresh this. Okay, position was at zero because we opened it up at the beginning of the file. Um, it started. It then went to four. Okay, so we then started here and went one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, it's at four bytes, which is one, two, three, four. Which is this is correct. We wrote one character here, so it moved forward one, which was then a position of five. We then told it to go forward another byte, which went to position six. It then wrote another character, which then put it to position seven. And then we then closed the file handle and outputted updated at this time and in seconds. All right, I hope that you've got a good understanding. If you want to see um, the different styles of um, the W hence, then come here and I mean it's quite self-explanatory uh, what it does alright and FTEL obviously returns the current position where the cursor is or the file pointer is at that one time which is where you're going to write to okay thank you very much for watching I hope you got something out of this alright it's not that difficult you just gotta you need to visually get your head around it okay now it would be a good idea if you want to check to see whether that magic um, byte at the end has been um, inserted by then getting the file size which maybe we'll do uh, a later tutorial all right I didn't quite expect this tutorial to go on so long but it did and I, I hope that you, you understand about how to move file pointers around okay and um, that's me done I'm not going to take any more of your time I'll see you in the next video tutorial bye bye then